Hi guys, good day. This is Sakura Cherry and I'm located in Phoenix, Arizona. It's summertime, July. Towards the end of July, it's really hot. Today's forecast, it goes up to 115 degrees at least. But I have something here. Today's video, I'm going to show you this a kangkong or water spinach that I propagated and I'm going to transplant it it's ready to be transplanted so yes water spinach grew properly here in Phoenix Arizona this is my first time growing it these are the originals a friend of mine gave me the seeds at first I experimented it and the soil and then after it grew I transplanted it trying to make the hydroponic one and I did have a success on it but then it got too crowded in the bucket that I am forced to put it on the ground again and so far so good it's doing pretty good and um, what happened was I started harvesting and I wanted to expand my um, water spinach I wanted to have a whole garden bed filled with water spinach so it used to be I had a Swiss chard in here in this particular garden bed but then it gets so hot that I could not keep up watering that um, a Swiss chard so I have some bones in here of chicken <laughs> I bury them too in the ground on my garden bed eggshells like that bury them there they're good phosphorus when they break down so now let's go transplanting this one it's not really like fully uh, like developed like there's like a lot of uh, roots on it not much on that one but there's a lot in this one but I decided to transplant them today because I don't want to wait anymore and I'm just gonna mist it so that's how close they will be Water spinach love to be close to each other anyway, so we will do that. Maybe I'll put one on each hole. We'll see. Or maybe two. Or maybe one. <laughs> we'll see. I can't decide. But yeah. There you go. So I have this already. Maybe two on each hole. Let's take it faster see how easy it is to transplant the water spinach as long as you keep the soil moist okay then they do survive in the desert of Arizona no problem um, at first I put in a tarp on top of it I was trying to protect it from the Sun but then I noticed that um, kind of like it's not that healthy because I think this one is a heat loving vegetables it loves to be out in in the Sun so now that I removed that the tarp it's doing pretty good you get thicker so this is my first time really growing this uh, water spinach in the desert it's my first and it's very successful so far uh, they're not as big like that one it just started getting bigger because I have been harvesting from this so the goal is to uh, expand it on the whole entire garden bed and I just harvested a few a while ago so I'm going to uh, propagate it also and plant it here so the more water spinach the better right so you just repeat the process guys and I put two on each holes and just 
you know make sure that you secure them like that okay and even though those are little ones they do like grow pretty quick so the next step is to put a mist in here that way um, you they'll be able to survive the, the heat of Arizona because it's really hot this one it's not fully propagated but why not just plant it they will grow anyway as long as you keep the moisture on it they will eventually give out some leaves in there so I might I have one okra in there so maybe I'll just leave that okra there and we just keep planting here there you go two of each in each hole just like so it's easy guys you can actually buy some of this from the store itself like Asian store and after you remove some of the leaves you can plant those um, stems that you you know remove the leaves from you can grow them so it's faster it's a lot faster to grow them from from the cuttings but a friend of mine she was so kind enough to give me the seeds from this I was so happy because I couldn't find the seeds of this they're very hard to find so I am well pleased from a friend of mine Janet she was so kind she gave me the seeds so blessed now I'm gonna keep uh, harvesting the seeds from this too that way someday I could share some to some friends that's what I do guys I I share my seeds I'm not greedy you don't need to if someone wants to plant help them out don't withhold your knowledge from them you know you share the better so now we're done with that and I still have some more inside and maybe I will put it here tomorrow so that's all I have for today guys for this video transplanting a propagated water spinach in this garden bed and the goal is to fill this up with water spinach so that's all I have for today thank you for watching this video and if you like this please like press the like button the thumbs up okay and if you really really like the video please subscribe to my channel sakura cherry i'll be posting more videos about gardening okay and if you have any questions please message me i'll gladly answer your questions if i know the answer okay thank you be blessed everyone